Mba in Hauteng is among three townships that recorded the highest number of rape cases from July to September this year, followed by Toyando in Limpopo and Lusikisigi in the Eastern Cape. As our country marks the start of 16 days of activism, Hauteng's Community Safety MEC Faith Mazibuko will lead the provincial launch of its annual campaign. Our reporter Ngobile Mazala is there. Let's cross to her now. Ngobile, what will Hauteng's campaign involve this year? Well, from what we know at the moment, the MEC has just briefed everyone, just looking at the different kinds of violences that women are normally faced with. In fact, I have a pamphlet here that she was talking to with the guests. We know that she has brought in all sorts of um, people in the communities, from pastors right straight to police officers, saying that they need to work together to fight the scourge. And of course, it starts here in Timber because this is the area that was identified as, as one of the most dangerous areas exactly for women at this point with over 70 cases of rape being um, seen in this area in just about three months. So I want to bring in the, um, one of the activists in the area, Maria Kamata. Um, I want to understand, Sissy, because we've spoken to you and you understand this area quite well. What is it that you want to see happen in the 16 days of activism? Um, I think this is actually great. I'd love to see this happening, like having our stakeholders, our police, the ministers and everyone going out in the community, talking about us and coming up with solutions to help the community. And not only sending people, but actually bringing themselves to the door and saying, this is us, this is me, let's do this, let's work together. So I think this is a start for a great thing. So I'm really, good. I'm really impressed. All right, but now you've spoken to people on the ground for quite some time. What sort of issues are you, are you seeing in this area? Okay, a lot of issues that I see in the area is that, as I spoke the other day, is that the stigma that is attached. I think if we can work on that, and while we're busy with this project, I think if we can try and teach people and try to remove the stigma so that you can give confidence to the, to the victims, to everyone around us, that they should not try and put people in an awkward position, especially if I'm going through something. I do not need someone else also to tell me that I did something wrong for something wrong to happen to me. So I think they also just need to boost their confidence and this project, work on that, I think a lot of things could change and we would have case, a lot of cases being reported. And lastly, Maria, which areas normally in this area are the places where you find these victims? Most of, of the victims, they are around where they sell alcohol, mostly, which is around Temba. They take it drive through, there is barcode in Majaneng. So most of these cases, they are around where they sell alcohol, because that is where young people, most young people, we do. We go out and we come back, and sometimes we are irresponsible a bit, but that does not mean that we deserve to be violated. Thank you, Maria. I want to bring in um, Lakim Dimani. You are in the alcohol industry. As you can hear Maria saying that some of the areas that are concerning are in these areas where there's alcohol. Um, what is it that you are going to be doing in order to make sure that you attend to this issue urgently? We take the issue of gender-based violence and femicide very seriously. And as the alcohol industry, certainly as well as the tavern sector, we are saying not in our name. We are going to take a stand in a fight against gender-based violence and femicide in our country. We are actually going to launch tavern dialogues on gender-based violence. This will be focused on the high incidence zones in the country where we have seen a high number of reported cases on gender-based violence. We are grateful to Distel for having sponsored this initiative, and we are really going to take a fight. We are actually even encouraging our liquor traders not to encourage men that are known to abuse their partners or even the vulnerable uh, in their communities. We are really taking this fight to say enough is enough. We really need to take a fight. You know, we encourage all of society, all communities, to make sure that we deal with this pandemic of, uh, of epic proportions. Not only are we facing COVID-19, but you know, GBV and femicide is a pandemic that we really cannot afford to shy away from. As men, we like to take a stand. Yeah, thank you very much, Lucky. But I just want to understand, as a man, I mean, we spoke to not in my name just the other day, and they were saying that there is a call for men to play a big role. As a man, what are you doing? You know, we want to call other men, including myself, if we know of any incidents or any of our friends or family members that are abusing their partners or the vulnerable, we need to report them. 
We cannot afford to protect people that are destroying our society. You can imagine that anyone who puts at risk the lives of those that are vulnerable is really not good for society. We need to put these people far away, lock them, throw the key far away, because we cannot really afford to have a society that has perpetrators, that has people that have only violence in their mind, that are hell-bent on destroying the lives of those that you know, should be getting protection from us as men. So we are taking a stand and we are saying not in our name. All right. Thank you very much, Lakim Timani there, as well as Maria Kamata, who was speaking to us um, about what the MEC is going to be doing. We do understand now she's going to be doing a door-to-door -door where she will be speaking to some of the families as well as victims in terms of how are they doing, what is the way forward, trying to find and really just support those that have been, go that have been going through quite a lot. And of course, then later on, she will then be launching the program. All right, thank you so much, Ngobile Ngobile Mazala, out in Temba in Tswane, where the Houting Security, Safety Security MEC, uh, Faith Mazabuko, is launching the province's 16 days of activism against violence, uh, for, against violence, against women and children.